Hi everybody, it's spring with subs and subs and such and today I thought I would show you how I do some of the water flowers that I made like for Utopia and um, I only have white and yellow though so this is the tip if I can get it view right here and that's a 366 that's a leaf tip okay that is this tip you can see that it's got a crease in it there you go and then like in the center sometimes I will take like a plain round tip one this size or bigger and make like a circle in the middle well I'm not gonna be doing that today um, because I don't have enough soap to work with but I have got this one which is a little bit littler and normally I'd go with tinier than that but I'm, this soap I don't think it would pop out very good so I'm not going to okay and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some uh, soap on my jar yes I use a jar more than I use a nail head sometimes I'll use a nail head though but for these I like to use the jar I'm going to put a piece of uh, wax paper cut like you would normally do. And um, let's see. This one, I think I'm going to start. And I'm going to show you how I hold this. Okay. I want to hold it like this. That's straight. If I turn it sideways, It'd be like this. Now, I'm holding it like this, and I'm just going to just make my petals. You can make them long, or you can make them, I'm not stand up, or you can make them um, shorter. I want them about like that. I'm going to take these gloves off, but I learned my lesson the last time, maybe. that one a little bit long but you just do it however you want to but I go right around through there like that just kind of get them sort of the same <laughs> some of them might be a little longer oh well and you can get um, inspiration if you'll look at flowers we have water flowers water lilies so in the summer I love to look at them take pictures of them Okay, get out there and catch some frogs. Of course, I put them back. I love my frogs. Okay, now I can either do it this way or I can stick with that way. And I'm going to go in between these two, right in between there. And I'm going to keep it up straight, not sideways, it's straight. And I'm just going to make another one, like so. Whoops. You see, I kind of flopped that one a little bit there, but I'm not perfect, but I thought I would show you how I do them. Of course, one time you might see me do them one way, and then you might see me do them another way, because I'm bad to switch around back and forth, back and forth. Learning new ways of doing things. But then I have to try to remember it, and that's the hard part. Okay, I kind of like that. Now I'm going to take my yellow with that tip, my bag right, and I'm going to make me a center. And I want this one kind of high, like that, and then I'm going to go around that. But this time I'm going to turn my tip, but I'm going to um, go in between and kind of like that. See that? I'm not making them real long now. Kind of going a lot shorter. Kind of short and stubby. Like so. Okay. Now, 
you're not happy with that, you can add on. And you can angle your tip. And if you angle it, then you can come out right here and do like that. I just like to go in between sometimes and give it a little bit of that. <laughs> But you can work, just play with it and get all kinds of different flowers. Okay, and there that is. Now, I'm going to go back to straight. And I'm going to come right in here. And I'm going to push firmer. See that? Right in here. Give it more of a push. See, I'm making my petals bigger with the firmer push on there. And if you're not happy with a petal, you can always take something and pop it out of there and put another one. But I'm bad to not do that. Every once in a while, you'll see me do that. If it's bugging me okay like so now I want to put some down here because I'm not happy with the way that looks I'm bad for that so I'm gonna go right down here and do it like that but you can get different it this tip will do all different ways you just have to play with it I really like this tip and I've got probably about probably about six of them now I've got also got mine that I use for cakes though and I don't use those for stuff well there you go that's what it looks like if you can see okay I'm gonna take this one off put it over here now a piece of paper and now I'm going to put my center first because lots of times I will do that and I made my center a lot bigger okay now I'm holding it at an angle so I get petals to go at the angle that I'm I'm just holding it kind of like that okay now let's see I'm not happy with that well yeah I think I am okay now we'll go up under here and bring them out in your where you can see what I'm doing. And I hope this will be of some help to you. I love to pipe. Sometimes it doesn't work out right and then other times it'll do better than I thought it would. Okay and there's that little guy. I think he's pretty. And I'll leave him alone. And you can actually take like some um, paper towel rolls, the brown cardboard part, and you can cut that in half, or you can use PVC pipe. Well, actually, I think you can even buy a piece now and cake the cake decorating. But uh, you could lay those flowers on it where it's curved like that. It'll give your petal shape. Now I'm just holding it straight. And I'm making them longer.
like so. Okay, now I'll just go in between and bring out another one. In between this one, bring out another one. And I'll do that all the way around. Whoops. My husband's been working out in the yard all day. And uh, now we've got two yards to take care of. Hopefully we get to start working on the other house. That's where I'm going to actually uh, make soap at eventually. And I don't think I'm going to put a center in that one. I'm just going to keep on the piping. But yeah, we hope to turn that into my own little soaping shop. Well, I don't know why I say little. It's it's not tiny, it's not as big as this house, but it's still not teensy tiny. But right now it needs a lot of work. It definitely needs a lot. Okay, there's that one. And I think I'll put a little yellow center in there. So, okay. I wish I'd had, I uh, wish I'd have done that in something like pink or something. Might have been easier for you to see what I'm doing. I'm not sure. Yeah, my husband just had a birthday, and uh, I'm going to be making him a birthday cake. And I'm thinking about doing some flowers on it, actually. I know, we'll see. I think I like that way it is, if you can see it. And you see how that curves? If you take that paper, that uh, what I was telling you about the cardboard, and put under it, you'll have a curvy one. You might think, what the heck is she doing? I'm making a flower. It's odd, but it's a flower, nevertheless. Now the room over here. Ah, I got that in one of my soaps. Flowers. Okay. I have to fix that over here now. Okay. Good 
thing I got gloves on. Or I done had it all over my hands. And this is just a flower. <laughs> That's how you figure out different flowers though. You just play with it. And don't be afraid to do that. Okay, I hope this has been helpful to you and you have a blessed day and happy soaping. If you like our videos, do subscribe. Hit that little bell right next to the subscribe button so you can see everything that we post. Now have happy soaping day. Mm -hmm.